I've been here since 1960. Bruce McKay? Or, right. Yeah. He was a bully, <laughs> if you yeah. want to know the truth. Oh, he used to come in the store, and he was never very friendly. Right. Uh, I think he thought I was selling beer to miners or something. He was just, just a bully. <laughs> right. A young girl across the street, eight, uh, you know, 98 pound maced her and flattened her right on the ground and they had to call an ambulance to take her away, macing everybody. He maced somebody on the uh, porch here one day for what? not having an a inspection sticker. When was that? That was a couple, two, three years ago. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Many, many instances of people are being harassed by him. He used to target people. Right. And go right after them. The problem manifested with the police department as it exists today or has existed for the last 15 years. We all know anybody that lived in this town that's had any issues with McKay whatsoever knew how he operated. It seemed to me that the state wanted to simply close the chapter on this, declare um, the officer and Mr. Floyd as heroes, uh, try to paint Lico as some sort of serial killer. I, I don't feel protected by the police. I feel intimidated by the police. Floyd is a mistake. If you're protecting someone, you have to know that they're alive. So he goes and rips off rounds and leak up like that, bam, 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 executes him. But he has no idea if the man he's allegedly protecting is alive. And then he recklessly endangers Caleb McCauley at the same time. Sounds but like there's, murder to there's me. been no well, investigation it, now, of now, now, if Floyd is a hero, okay, do, do we really want to perpetuate this kind of behavior in society? Is this what we want? We want people to pick up the, if you, if you see anything bad happen, pick up the gun and start shooting. It's vigilantism. You know, I mean, you, don't, you can't endorse this behavior. Like it's state-sanctioned vigilantism. Well, right now we're going to contact the senator, and I've got some flyers, and I've got a copy of a letter that we're going to give him now. This is a uh, document produced by the Attorney General to the people of New Hampshire. The public's right to know what their government is doing is a fundamental part of New Hampshire's democracy. For our government to remain of the people, by the people, and for the people, while protecting individuals' privacy. We're going now to the Secretary of State's office. It is essential that the people have reasonable and open access to the information that will inform the people what their government is up to and how it's performing. And right now, we're approaching Governor John Lynch's office. I have a couple flyers from KingCast.net. Mm -hmm. It's a civil rights website. We have multimedia video on that. So these are the flyers here. What we really want to have happen here is have the governor come out and do some fact-finding with us to okay. healing the community. And I mentioned that in the letter. We cannot see any consistency between the Attorney General's actions and what she has written here and provides this text for the rest of us. Hello. Hi, I'm Christopher King. I'd like to speak with Attorney General Ayotte. Hi, Kennedy's in his car. Yeah. And he's scared for his life. He bashed him off the road with a suburban. All right? The guy pulled to the side, he stopped, and he's waiting there. Never gets out. Never gets out. Then he gets maced. Right, while he's in the car. Right. So he gets maced Pardon while he's me. in the car. Right. The real story is what that cop did to him before he got shot. I, I understand yeah. what you're doing. I support what you're doing. And then, Everybody has the right, right to know what's going on. When I went out to Franconia, you know what they said to me out there? The worst coming out. I couldn't believe it. Somebody said to me with all earnestness, I always thought I'd find that guy dead by the side of the road one day. If it wasn't legal, it would have been somebody else. It's his spirit that I know well. Right. And it's, it's literally um, guiding me through this. He, he's, he's guiding this. Um, he's got a very bright light. Now, he's a great guy. We're going to miss him. I think about him a lot, a lot of people miss him.